everybody. Welcome to another call of Agent Mastermind, the real estate animals. I have a dear friend with me on the call today, and a you know, I, I've, it, it's amazing what you've done, Carl, with uh, with what you're going to show us today. Of uh, you know, of, of course, many other things you've done in the industry of real estate and mortgage professionals and stuff, and where you've been, and and how many people you've showed how to do this exact same thing, and how easy it is to do it. Man, I'm just I'm so excited that you had, you, you had a little bit of time for us today to take out and share with us your knowledge of Facebook. And um, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorite topics of all the things that we teach. And a lot of people in the real estate community look at social marketing and go, okay, I know there's a lot of stuff there. I know that somewhere there's a lot of deals that I can get and a lot of closings I can get. I just haven't quite figured out how to crack the code. So uh, today, uh, it's going to be an action-packed. We're going to go over a lot of content. If you're multitasking, this will be a good one not to multitask with because I'm going to go through some uh, rapid-fire stuff. And uh, I think it's like the last four slides. I'm going to give you my just a killer strategy. You'll be able to implement literally 10 minutes after the call ends. You'll be five, let's, let's, five minutes. Five minutes after the yes. call ends, I'm going to show you on the last three or four slides a way that you can absolutely positively get more leads than you could ever possibly deal with literally five minutes uh, uh, starting from the end of the call and, and all this is without, you know, as always, without spending a dime. And all because you guys have awesome loan officers that think enough about you to, uh, to bring some really, really, really good content. And uh, so, you know, the first call to action after the class is call the loan professional that sent you here. And you know what? Thank them for stepping up to the table and, and, and helping you guys out. So uh, no question. Anyway, so Carl, what? So you're going to cover. And what, one of the big things that I hear is, you know, yeah, I got a Facebook page. Yep, I got a business page. Um, I, I really, the problem I have when I go to Facebook is I get lost, and uh, you know, I come to find out two hours later I'm still on there and I haven't got anything accomplished. And yeah, uh, I think what you're going to share with us is, is just uh, it, it will help people get out of Facebook. But maybe more importantly, start making money with Facebook. Yeah, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Is it's not about, and that's part of what we're going to cover. It's not about being on social marketing. It's not. It's not about quote getting your name out there. It's about closing deals, and, and right. that's what we're going to show you. And just as a, a, another little disclosure here, the uh, the weather is uh, a little bit uh, iffy here, and uh, so if I lose uh, if I lose connection, uh, Scotty's got the PowerPoint. He'll continue on, and I'll sign back on because. Uh, the, the, the power has been flickering on and off here a little bit with the storm. But, Scotty, let's get right into this because i got a lot to Excellent. show. Let's do it, okay? man. All right. All right. So let me go on to the screen here. I think the first picture says it all. Yeah. Let me just uh, – whoops. There we go. All right. You see my screen okay? Absolutely. looks good. Okay. Here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is um, – we're going to show you how to get a stadium full of people to hear your message for free. And you go, okay, well, that's a little bit of exaggeration. Actually, it's not. As we look at the, uh, the next slide here, this is one of the fan pages that, uh, that, I'm, uh, that I work with. And, and I, there's, I don't know, probably a dozen or so that I do. This just happens to be one of them. And as we look on this, this right here, let me do the little ink pen thing here. As we look right here, this is how many people this fan page reaches right wow. here. All right, and if and 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 so and here's a, here's a key thing here. This is weekly, right? Weekly. So it's sixty eight thousand two hundred ninety nine people that see this fan page every week. Well, that is indeed about the same size as the, as the Tampa Stadium. And but the, the magic of, of, of how Facebook works is that any time you can get somebody to like your posting or make a comment to your posting of something like that, it's broadcasted out to all of their fans or all of their friends too. And what that means is is that these sixty eight thousand, when they interacted with me and they do, and I'm gonna show you how, it is now being seen by seven million three hundred ninety two thousand 251 people in a week, right, in a week. So it's very, 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 very powerful thing that we're going to be showing you here. 
You know, Scotty, I'm, a, I'm always a big proponent of a thing that I call writing small checks to cash big checks. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, about, oh gosh, probably about eight years ago, I got on the phone with a guy, wrote him a check for $1,000, really, really super smart guy, you know, one of the gurus. Get him on the phone, spend my $1,000, and he says, all right, Carl, you got me for an hour. What do you want to talk about? I said, well, I, I want to talk about building my business. He says, okay. He said, uh, you know, I understand you're in the, you're the real estate, you know, business, uh, and I said, I, I am. He said, well, how do you mark it out? Like, like, how do you decide who you're going after? Who's, who's your target audience? And I showed him or told him that I do something that somebody told me. As I said, well, I, I, I literally get a, I got a cup, a little Dixie cup, and I got a picture or, of a map, or I got a map of my area, which I happen to live here in Palm Harbor just outside of Tampa. I put that cup over the map, draw a little circle around my office, and that's my target market. He said, well, Carl, this is going to be a very short <laughs> phone call, but it's going to be a very productive one. I said, all right, give it to me, buddy. I, I wrote you a big check. I'm, I'm expecting a big aha here. He said, here's all you need to do, Carl. Go get a bigger cup. Go get a bigger <laughs> cup. And, you know, when you think about that, today it's easier than ever to have a bigger cup. In other words, the days of just looking at our own personal little market by drawing a little circle around our, our, our office or where we live or, or, or our own personal community is a huge mistake for real estate agents more than anybody, because keep in mind on real estate agents, you guys have a, uh, 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 you know, can get referrals and get paid on them. So you can refer somebody in Kansas and get paid on it. And what I'm getting ready to show you is how to use Facebook and other types of social marketing so that you not just explode your own business here in your area, but also to have a bigger cup and, and get referrals and refer them out to agents across the nation. So it's, it's never been easier to do that than with the social marketing. So the first thing that we have to do when we look at like Facebook is we have to talk a little bit about, you know, why should we use it? And I'm just going to spend like one minute on this just very briefly. You know, it, it's, it's what's working now. We know that's where everybody's at. There's like, what, a, a billion coming up? It's approaching a billion users that's on Facebook right now. And I saw this stat here. This is actually a little outdated that uh, if Facebook was a country, It'd be the third largest country on earth, even bigger than the United States. It's quickly approaching India, and my suspicion is that somewhere, uh, somewhere around the end of next year, I, I think it's going to be the largest country on earth as, as a country. And the other thing about it, though, is, is they aren't just all on there. In other words, like 93% of the adult U.S. Internet users are on Facebook, so virtually all of your prospects, all of your referral partners, all of your clientele, anything, anybody that you want to get in front of, for all practical purposes, they're on Facebook. And they're not just on there, they're on there a lot. Because we look here, it's at one out of eight, every eight minutes online is spent on Facebook. I mean, that's an amazing stat. So that's where everybody is. And, and when I started looking at that, I go, well, gosh, why, why is everybody using this? Like, why is it? Because to under, to, to be able to market to this stuff, guys, you need to enter in the conversation that's in your prospect's head, right? You have to know what, what, what are they thinking when they're on here so that you know what to say. And the thing about Facebook is, you know, people, people want to get to know you. One thing that we've noticed is that, you know, when, when Scotty and myself and, and some of the loan officers, we were sitting around kind of masterminding one day, we we're thinking, so why is this thing so powerful? And we think what it is, is that, you know, we live in an ever-increasingly isolated society. So even though we all have never been closer together in location, you know, people don't, like, people used to go to people's houses and play cards and stuff like that. Now it's all done on the web. It's all internet-based. People play cards with people on the internet. People text each other instead of, instead of talking to each other. And so it's kind of like an isolated society that we're kind of creating here. And people are starving for interaction to people. That's why, you know, it's our thought of why this, this Facebook is getting so popular. Which, by the way, here's a quick tip for you. The, the number one button clicked on your web page, we've been tracking this, and we have never found this not to be the case. The number one button clicked on your web page is the who you are or meet your team or who I am, whatever, whatever about us is, is 
always, not almost always, always the number one button clicked on real estate and, and mortgages and, and like professionals website. So people want to get to know you. They want to get to know you. So by the way, we, on the Meet Our Team or About Me, make sure you don't talk about your company. They're not looking, they didn't click, we've tried this too, we put two buttons up about the company and about me. And the about me, in other words, about you on the call, about you always, always, always beats about our company. So it's real important that when you're on here is to have information about you. Let them, let them, let them know, you know who you are, uh, a little bit about your family perhaps, uh, what do you like doing on the weekends, what do you do, on, you know, what do, you do in, your, in your spare time, your hobbies, things like that. And you go, Carl, they, they don't want to know that. Yes, they do. That's the number one button click. So it's real important that you do that, which is all part of why this Facebook stuff works. And you know, the bottom line is people just want to belong to a club. And again, you have to understand the, the psychology of this to, 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 to maximize on the Facebook marketing is understanding that people want to belong to a club. Ever since we were little kids, Scotty, yeah. you know, we, we, we belonged to like little boys clubs and the girls had girls clubs. Well, and like the Brownies and the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts. And then as we get older, the Lions Club, the Rotary, I, you know, just everything. Dude, I mean, yeah. people, I don't care how old you are, how young you are, how fat, skinny, tall, rich, poor, people like to belong to groups. Right. Hey, Carl, real quick, um, can you uh, try to, your screen is not centered or something where it's a little bit slid to the right, so we're missing the, the we're missing the whole screen. I don't know if it's the way to, like, if it's like a control T issue, whatever. Uh, let me try. And, you know, in speaking to what you're saying right here, Carl, um, one of the things I read, and this, this makes so much sense, is I read that social media in 2013 is actually going to be a bigger part than actually Google is because people will go to Google to search a specific term or specific something, but once they, they – there, there you go, that, that looks uh, – no, that's the same. They search for a specific term, but once they find what they're looking for, they, they result to their social media sphere of influence to find somebody to work with when it comes to something big like buying a home or selling a home or buying a car or, or something like that. So having a presence on social media, especially Facebook, and all the social media sites for that matter, is going to be – there you go. That's perfect, man. Awesome. Okay. All right, so it's so important to be a part of a group and be a part of all of the groups, you know, including Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, Does that make absolutely. sense? It, it makes perfect sense. Okay. Now, the other thing is, you know, people say, well, all right, Carl, so how do we market on Facebook? And the answer is with a fan page, with a fan page. And just to show you, there's a difference between personal pages and fan pages. Like this is, this is a personal page. This is a, a buddy of ours, uh, Brian Heckman, awesome guy. And we look at his page. This is his personal page, all right? We look at this one, and this is just somebody I, I grabbed off the web. He may or may not be on today's call. Uh, Eduardo here, this is a fan page. You go, Carl, how can you tell the difference between a personal page and a fan page? As we look at the personal page, see it has friends, friends down here? That, that way we know it's a personal page. A fan page doesn't have friends, right? It has likes instead. And the, the point being here is that when you have a you know, people say, well, you can't talk business on Facebook. It depends. On your personal page, you're right. You have to be careful, right? It's people on the personal page just kind of hanging out. But on a fan page, right, on a fan page is different. If you're on the Coca-Cola fan page, you expect people to be talking about Coca-Cola. If you're on the NASCAR fan page or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan page, I don't, I don't think we have one actually, but you get the idea. Um, people expect you to talk business on a fan page because that's what they signed on to. So it's not only okay to talk business on a fan page, it's expected. So if Eduardo gets on here and talks about anything other than real estate, it's going to be a little on the weird side because it's a realtor's fan page. They're there to be a fan of this realtor. So people say, well, gee, Carl, I've already got a web page. Why, why do I need a fan page too? Well, number one, everybody's already on Facebook. And what I mean by that is if you're trying to sell balloons, would you go to an empty field and try to sell balloons and try to get people to come to your field? Or would you go to Disney World where the party's already at and bring your balloons with you? Right? You'd, you'd go to Disney World, of course. So you want to go to where everybody is because people don't like leaving Facebook. And what I mean by that is think of Facebook like a, 
think of Facebook like a gated community. Yeah, that people don't like leaving the gated community, right? They, they feel safe there because, see, on the, when you're on the regular web and you go to a landing page, say like your bank, you know, we all go, gosh, is this really my bank's page or is it somebody trying to scam me? Well, everybody knows that Facebook and LinkedIn and Pinterest, they're all heavily monitored. In other words, they're, they're like gated community. And people know that when you're on Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest, that those, those uh, the administrators of those sites really police it. And if somebody's doing something that's uncool, they get booted off. So people feel safe on Facebook, uh, or certainly more so than just on the regular web. And then, oh, by the way, your average prospect's on Facebook uh, up to two hours a day. So you go, all right, so I get it. I'm supposed to, advertise, I'm supposed to market myself with a fan page. Well, what's the objective of the fan page? Well, we kind of said this at the beginning. It's not to get your name out there. It's not to have 5,000 friends. It's not to have a huge list. The objective is to make money, right? That's the objective of, of, of the fan page. So you go, all right, so I, I understand I'm supposed to make money on my fan page. What do I say? What do, what, when I make my posting, what do I talk about? Well, one of the things that we talk about is, is providing what we call results in advance. And by the way, this is the same thing, the idea behind the loan professional that invited you here today. They're doing the same thing. They're bringing you some awesome content. They're bringing some really cool stuff and showing you that, hey, if you do this, this stuff works. And then the law of reciprocation kind of kicks in and you go, well, geez, that, that was awful nice of her to do that. That was awful nice of him to do that. Uh, you know what? I, 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 probably, I think I'll give him a shot on the next deal here. It's just, it's just what decent people do. You know, it's, it's, just a, it's, it's what goes on in people's heads. So. When you give results in advance, the kind of postings you want to do is you want to do postings that create interest and desire, like, like come into this class. A loan professional wants it to create interest and desire in your head. Bonding and trust. We're giving you great information. Nobody's trying to sell you anything, so that creates a bonding and trust. Free samples. Well, that, that'd be like this class. But when we say free samples, like giving out on the web, we're not talking about like mailing them tchotchkes or widgets or, or a keychain or something like that. What we're talking about is give them good information, right? Information can be free samples, and we're going to go over some examples here in a minute. And then you give a call to action, right? So the mistake I see a lot of people make, let me rephrase that. The mistake I see almost everybody make is they go immediately to a call to action. They go immediately to a call to action. So they do a posting. Hey, I can list your property. Hey, I can do this. Hey, I can do that. And it's like, all right, well, crap, I don't even know who you are. Right? So I, I don't trust you yet. You have, to, you have to earn our trust a little bit before you go into the call to action. Again, just kind of as an example, the loan professionals, you know, those that come to your office and say, gimme, 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 right? they're going right for the call to action. Whereas these guys are saying, hey, we're going to teach you all this really cool stuff. Oh, by the way, did you, did you talk to somebody this weekend that could use our help? Right? You do the call to action after. It's a very, very, very important point with social marketing. So you go, all right, well, give me some examples of what to post. First of all, when you do postings on Facebook, never post negative news or a bad day. In other words, never, never, never go on there and say, well, congratulations, uh, Fannie Mae, you really screwed this up, or, you know, uh, boy, this, this politician just voted on this, and FHA just did this to the housing. Way to go, guys. You really screwed things up. Oh, by the way, you, you want to buy a house? Right? It, it doesn't make sense to do that. So never post anything negative. And just, just as a quick aside here, as we're into the political scene right now, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever post a political action unless you're okay with losing half of your business to the, half of the people that you, that you, that you upset. Because half of your database, you know, give or take, is, is, is Democrat, half is give or take is Republican. So you're going to upset one half of your crowd. So if you're willing to do that, post away. You know, be, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, and, I, and I want to make sure everybody heard that, Carl, because, I mean, it's so, so important. Religion and politics, I mean, it literally will alienate 50% of your database. They'll hide you. They'll, like, like not – I mean, you, it, you instantly lose that bonding and trust, like, like, as soon as you post it. So, I mean, I want to make sure everybody heard that. So, as much as you want to post it, I see people, like, go, I was fighting posting this, and then I post it anyway. you got to be really careful about that because yeah. you, yeah. you will lose followers. Don't – absolutely, positively. Yeah. And cost you money. Again, I'm not telling you not to post these things. I'm just right. saying understand that it's going to cost you money if you do. And if you believe in it so strongly that you say, hey, I'm willing to give up half my deals this month, I honor that, and, and, and that's okay. Just understand that is what you're doing. So when you do your postings, you always want to be that ray of sunlight. I kind of think of it 
like you know when you see a storm and you, you see pictures of storms and, and you see it's, it's all this big cloudy sky and you see that one little ray of sunlight coming through the storm, that's who you want to be. That's who you want to be. And you want to provide value kind of in an entertaining way. And oh, by the way, video always outpulls text. Video always, always, always outpulls text. And, uh, and Scotty, I know you've done some classes here yeah. on video marketing, and you've got some coming up, and we'll talk about that more here in just a few minutes, too. Yeah, no worries. All right. Okay, here's the secret of all secrets. And again, we're going to show some specific examples. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is where most people in your database are at. And if you have any doubt of this, you know, what's, what's that say? Thank God it's Friday. TGIF, thank God it's Friday, because I hate my job Monday through Friday. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I can't wait to the weekend so I can grab my six-pack of Bud and numb out my life for a little bit. Or, or you ask me, so, so how's your day going? Ah, uh, nobody would care anyway. Right? That, watch the news. It's all bad news. And so this is where most people are at. Now, what you want to do is if you can take people from the frown face to, and I know this sounds simplistic, but I'm telling you, this one little thing has made... I mean, I, I, we've made a, you know, just a, we've made a lot of people happy, and by making a lot of people happy, we've made ourselves, you know, get a lot. We get a lot of closings, and we get we, we get a lot of new clients. The secret to secrets: if you can take somebody from a frown to a smile, if you can do that, that's what you want to do with your Facebook postings. And you might think, well, you know, come on, guys, let's let's get with it. Think of this. Think of people that do this, like let's football, like like professional athletes. You go into the football game, arr, 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 can't wait to get off of work. You leave the football game, even if your team lost, you had a good time. Or a rock con or a concert, rock concert, country concert, rap, jazz, whatever. You go into the concert, kind of drag, and you come out, man, that was awesome, that was great. Or a movie, you walk in, man, I'm looking to escape away from everything a little bit, and you come out of the movie and you go, wow, that was a great movie. So if you look at that, what are professional athletes, um, music stars, and actors and actresses, what what do all three of those people have in common? Yeah, they all they all make people smile, laugh. I mean, enjoy their day. That's what people flock to. And what's the other thing they have in common? They make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. I'm telling you guys, I cannot overemphasize this. Take people from a frown to a smile. So in your postings, you want to be that ray of sunlight. The other thing you want to do in your postings is tell them your why. In other words, tell them how to. It's not why you're doing what you're doing, right? It's why they should work with you, right? People don't really care about why I do this because I want to. Nobody cares about that, right? Your, your mother does, your wife does, your husband does, your kids might, maybe some of your friends. But your clients really don't care why you're doing it. They want to know why they should work with you. So tell them how to market their house. Tell them how to buy a new home. And you go, all right, Carl, I get the idea of where I'm supposed to come up with some you know, good, cool stuff on a positive note to tell them to buy and sell their home. But... Where, where do I find good ideas on these subjects? Here's a great site. Everybody write this down. This is free. This is, I love this site. It's called ezinearticles.com. Ezinearticles.com. And as we look at this one right here, I plugged in. It's, it's kind of like what ezinearticles.com is. It's kind of like Google, except instead of just looking up information, it looks up articles that are all free and you're allowed to copy and paste. You're allowed to use them any way you want to. So I go into easingarticles.com and I just simply uh, typed in home selling tips. Home selling tips. And look at this. I had 1,720,000 articles to show up. Like uh, uh, five rules for profitable selling on this one or tips on how to hold an open house or I mean, there's a 1.7 million articles on this on this topic. Do you think you can pull some good stuff from here? Here's another one I did on home buying tips. Home buying tips, 52,000 articles on home buying tips, right? And and it's on all kinds of topics. So what I recommend that you do is go in here, read one of the articles, just pull out a couple little snippets, one good, simple, easy idea and either post it as a text, or even better, turn on your little smartphone camera and, and get somebody with you sitting out by your garden and just give them that one, like a little minute video, a simple little tip that you pulled from one of these articles, and then post that video. Now you're bringing them real cool stuff, you're bonding them with a video, 
and uh, very, very, very powerful strategy. So ezinearticles.com is a great, great source. Another thing you can do is just simply go into Amazon and, and type in a, a book. Like I, I typed in, I think, home buying tips. And here's a book. And actually, I actually bought this book, but it, I'm not pitching this book. There's, there's hundreds of them. Pick one. Pick tip, tips and tracks when buying a home. And then open up the book, read a couple pages, grab one little simple tip, and either write it down, post it, or do a quick video and, and talk about that one little simple tip. A little quick one, two, three minute video. Nothing fancy, just a quick little tip. People love these things. People love these things. And by the way, I think I mentioned, you know, video always outpulls text. And um, uh, so we're, we've got some past classes, and we're going to be doing some future classes. So if you want to get a copy of some of the past classes that we've done on this topic, uh, just contact the loan professional that sent you here, and uh, Scotty is putting together uh, a little, uh, a couple of those classes together, so you guys can go watch some uh, some uh, uh, video marketing strategies. But video is just absolutely killer. All right, other posting ideas, just real quick: uh, pictures and text of happy home sellers is a good one to do. Pictures and text of happy home buyers, right? Or a video testimonial from your clients at the closing table. That's a good one to do that we can do also. Next. Uh, some of the loan professionals on the, on the today's call have a, have a program called agentsunfairadvantage.com. But the bottom line is, like, you can post up pictures of your listings on your fan page. Remember, it's a copy, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fan page. So they're expecting this kind of stuff. So it's absolutely positively okay to post listings on your, uh, on your fan page. Some mistakes I see people making on postings is broadcasting your messages on how great you are instead of providing fans with relevant content and engaging on a continual basis using the positive notes, using home buyer tips, home seller tips from ezinearticles.com, books that you've gotten on Amazon. Uh, another mistake I've seen people is by just frankly being boring. So make sure I, I strongly mention, I strongly recommend to you to spend a little, a little bit of time learning how to do these videos. And again, it's so so simple. They don't have to be uh, fancy. A simple smartphone, do the video right up on Facebook is just killer. Another thing, and we'll go into this more on a future class we got coming up, is you need to kind of create a story. In other words, you, you kind of want to have an ongoing thread about who you are and kind of what you stand for. Kind of like, gosh, I guess I'm showing my age here, but kind of like John Wayne. You know, when I think of John Wayne, you know, a picture, as soon as I say John Wayne, a picture for most of you come into your, into, into your mind and it's apple pie, a man's man, trustworthy, just a good solid individual. And, and that's what you want to do for you is as, in your marketing you want to create like a story that's, that people can easily identify with. Uh, oh, things you don't want to see in surgery. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that, that's for sure, Carl. That's I would agree sure. with you on that one. All right, let's transition and talk a little bit about Facebook ads. Facebook ads is, is a very, very, very powerful thing. So let's spend a few minutes about talking about that. So one, I always do that. I love this little slide. It's like, like, what is this? A Yugo, newspapers, and Yellow Pages have all in common, right? They're going extinct. Oh, you want me to answer that? Yeah, they're yeah, extinct. Yeah, they're, they're going gone. extinct. Yeah. And so doing the marketing in the newspaper and like in the yellow pages, I mean, it's just, it just doesn't work anymore, right? It's just, it's just going out. So Facebook ads is a real killer little thing. And when we look at the Facebook ads, you know, we look at these little ads. What we're talking about is these things right in here. And as we look at this, in fact, here's Zillow right here doing a little ad for uh, real estate agents. So as we look at this, there's a little kind of a dirty little secret about Facebook ads. And what, I, what, I, what the secret is, is the ads are perfect for each person. In other words, if you on today's call was to go to the same page that I'm on here right now, you would see a different set of ads than I would. In other words, Facebook goes into your personal profile and it looks, how old are you? Are you a male or a female? Are you married? What books do you like? What movies do you like? What fan pages do you belong to? What groups do you belong to? And it, it lets the marketers target exactly who you are. In other words, like Facebook, when you walk into Facebook, each and every one of us, Facebook kind of puts a pair of advertising glasses on you. 
and your glasses are different than mine. So you and I do not see the exact same ads because like in my profile, I mentioned, you know, uh, that uh, uh, like I'm, I'm, a, uh, uh, I'm interested in airplane, a pilot. Uh, I'm interested in motorcycles, Harley Davidsons. I'm interested in camping. I like skiing and, so, and, and real estate, realtor, loan officer. So those, so Facebook tells the marketers, here's a guy that's interested in Harley Davidsons. Here's a guy that's this old. Here's a guy that's married. Here's a guy that, whose favorite book is this. And you can target ads specifically to that person. So, and I'm going to show you some examples here. Is the biggest thing about Facebook ads as a real estate agent is the first thing you need to decide is who are you going to target? Who are you targeting? That's where the money is in this ad. Because it's not like the old billboard where you put up a billboard on the side of the road and you're paying for, you know, whatever. 20,000 people ride by that thing every day and they charge you for 20,000 people. You go, well, you know, some of those people were 16-year-old high school kids going back and forth to school, and they're not buying my house. They're not buying a product. They're not, they're not listing their house. Why would I? But yet you're still paying for their eyeballs. Facebook doesn't do that. Facebook has it so only your exact targeted crowd seats the ad, and you only pay for that exact target. So tar deciding who you're going to target is a very, very, very good use of your time on Facebook. You go, all right, Carl, well, who would I target? Right? Who would I target? And I'm just going to give you some ideas here. You can go consumer direct. We're going to show you some examples of that. You can target residents in a particular neighborhood. Right? So you say, okay, I only want these people that live in uh, you know, Forest Oaks community to see this ad. So only Forest Oak residents would see that. Or divorce attorneys. Only if somebody is a divorce attorney, only they will see my ad on Facebook. Only members of the Chamber of Commerce of Tampa Bay or Kalamazoo or wherever. Only employees, and this is a ninja one, only employees of a particular company will see this ad. And I'll, I'll, show, you what I, I'll show you some examples here. So like this is a buddy of mine. This is a Brian Stevens, a friend of mine in Scotty's. And we can say, all right, I want this ad to only be seen by people that work for this company that live in Vacaville, California that graduated from University of California at Davis, that went to this high school, that are interested in snowboarding, whose favorite book is Rain of Gold. You get what I'm saying here? You can target somebody because Facebook goes inside the profiles. Just want to make sure, I, I know I'm kind of harping on this. This is a very, very big point because I'm, I'm getting ready to show you a gold mine. You just have to know where to dig. So, and, and remember, we, 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 remember we talked about if you wanted to market to the entire state? Well, look at, here's some ads. Here's some sample ads. Remember I told you you could target people who work for certain companies? Here's an ad that we actually ran for, we ran, that targeted Home Depot employees. And so as we look at this ad right here, this said, all right, I only want people, when I posted the ad, I only want people that live in the United States. In my case, I did this, who live in Florida, who are 21 and older, because those are the people that buy houses, who work at Home Depot. And oh, by the way, I wish I spoke another language, but I don't. Uh, who speak English. So only those people are going to see this ad, which by the way, here in Florida, was 2,280 people, you know, give or take. And so when we do the ad, and I just blew it up here, we put a picture of a guy with a Home Depot orange smock. And I can tell you right now, if you work for Home Depot and you see that Home Depot smock, it's going to catch your eye, right? It's going to catch your eye. Thinking of buying a home? Question mark. Special program for all employees that work for uh, Home Depot. Uh, don't get left out. Here's the information. So you go, all right, well, what's the special program? I don't know. It's your special program, right? Have one. Make, make it so that they get a free, whatever, home inspection, uh, 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 home warranty, whatever it is, whatever that's legal for you to advertise or to give away as a package, offer them some sort of a special, right? Same thing, we did this one for Disney, right? So again, we put a picture of a young lady here with the Mickey Mouse ears, and think of buying a home special program for all employees that work for Disney. Right? So only Disney employees see this. Now the cool part about this, guys, is when somebody sees your ad that works for Disney, they're going to see it on all kinds of Facebook pages. In other words, they're going to see it on their friend's Facebook page. They're going to see it on the Coca-Cola fan page. They're going to see it on your competitors' fan pages. So that ad is going to follow them everywhere they go, and they're going to think, gee, Boy, that's Scotty. He's everywhere. That realtor Bob, he's everywhere. No, you're not. You're just in front of them everywhere they look. Because it's not just on your page that that 
that that ad shows up, it's on every page that they look at, right? And just by the way, on this one, we put here who graduated from college because we wanted the college graduates that worked at Disney because, you know, I don't mean any disrespect by this, you know, and, and certainly this is not an end all, but we're trying to target as close as possible. We go, okay, we don't, we're, not, we're not looking for the guy that's selling the cotton candy. We're looking for the guy that, that you know, that manages the guy that works at the cotton candy. He's more likely to make more money and, you know, more likely to afford a house. So you can, you can target, when you target these things, you say, I only want college graduates. Again, not that all college graduates are in charge or that all of them make more money, but as a general rule, you know, they, they, they typically make more money. Here's one we did. Uh, here in Florida, the University of Florida is called the Florida Gators. And so we have here, this was only seen by people that graduated from the University of Florida. And we have here, you know, are you a Gator fan? Special deal for Gator fans. And again, live in the United States, live in Florida, 25 or older, who graduated from University of Florida, who are married, right, who speak English. So uh, again, you can hyper-target, so only the Gator fans are going to see this ad. And guys, when you do this, you can do separate ads depending upon their likes, their interests, their location, their occupation, their age, their sex, their relationship status. By the way, relationship status. This is a very interesting one right here. Remember in Facebook, there's a couple different choices when you're choosing your relationship status. There's married, there's single, there's it's complicated, which they tell me works real good for the dating you know guys, and um, and there's engaged. So we ran an ad that said you know the 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 the, the ladies that were had it as they're engaged saw a picture of a you know very handsome uh, gentleman, and the gentleman that said they're engaged see a picture of a lovely bride. A little bit more on this later, by the way. We found a very interesting stat when we did this. But you can have it so the guys see one picture and the girls see another. By the way, your picture is responsible for 80% of your clicks. So spending time on your picture, and we've got to slide up that in here in just a minute. Spending time on your picture is a, is a big deal. But again, thinking about buying a home, keep in mind this ad is only seen by people that have newlywed in their profile, right? Or not newlywed, engaged, engaged. So uh, new bailout program to newlyweds uh, requires banks to give you list of short sale and foreclosure homes. All right, well, whose who's bailout program? Yours. It's your bailout program, right? And uh, get a list of short sale and foreclosure homes. Can't you look that up in MLS, right? We got a lot of traction off of this one, so uh, really cool stuff. By the way, you can have it so the ad only shows up on their birthday or a combination of any or all of these. So you say, I only want them if they live in the Wexford West uh, uh, subdivision, uh, that work for Home Depot, that are 35 to 45, that are male, see this ad, female, see this ad. I mean, just you name it, any combination of these. Really, really, really cool stuff. And uh, maybe maybe in a future class here, uh, Scotty, we can go more into these Facebook ads. Absolutely. Facebook ads. Yeah. That'd be good. Uh, um, here's another one, by the way. Houses for NASCAR fans. If you're a NASCAR fan, I can tell you what, and you see a picture of Dale Earnhardt uh, Jr. here, you can't help but to click on it. So, right. you know, your, your favorite football team, like if you have a football star uh, that's in your area, like Brett Farr or something, you know, what, whoever, somebody that's, that's current and active or something like that, uh, put the, you know, we, we've been putting their pictures on the pages. People say, well, where do you get the pictures? We just go to Google, right? You just go to Google, and right here where it says images, just click on images, and like I, I clicked in American flag pictures because we had this running to Marines, Air Force, uh, Reserves, Army, Navy, right? We had these going to veterans, getting them to, uh, to buy, buy and sell houses, right? So we just typed in American flag. A few words about the pictures. This is very interesting stuff we did here. We found a couple things that if you put a play button, if you put a play button on your picture, Right, which you can again just Google this and you get play buttons here. We found those get higher clicks, but a lot of times we're not really sure why. A lot of times Facebook won't let you put a play button on there because uh, Facebook has to approve all of your ads, and for some reason they don't let us put play buttons all the time. So that's kind of a hit or miss, even if it's going to a video, by the way. So I'm not really sure why that is. The other thing we found is if we put a red line around the picture, a red line around the picture, it got more clicks. We also played with a couple things where your picture doesn't have to be a picture of a person, it can be a picture of words. So like here's one we did, uh, we did a picture of these words. So in other words, you get more text now in your ad. And we did attention, first time home buyer, time sensitive message, 
which we had that one going to the engaged people, the engaged people. So, uh, and again, we did a bright yellow background because it caught their eye, and again, red, uh, the red outline. Something else you can do is if you got like a, a picture, this is one of, a, this is a buddy of mine, Ryan Dice, and, um, and Ryan has a very large following in a particular community. And so a lot of people know Ryan in this particular area. And it, this is kind of a goofy picture of Ryan. Ryan's a very uh, serious, very professional, very, very, very bright, uh, well thought of person. And I found this kind of a goofy picture of him, got his permission of course, and, and did that. So if you have somebody in your area or your target market, like the, maybe the, if you're doing it to Home Depot, maybe the CEO of Home Depot with kind of a goofy look on his face or something like that. That works real good too. This next one though, I'm going to tell you, get more clicks than anything else. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, we're not here to, to make judgment about what's right and wrong or tell you what to do or what not to do. We're just showing you studies that we've done that with the results that we got and then you make your own decision. And saying that, we found that if you put a picture of, uh, you know, I don't know a better way of saying this, but if you just put a picture of cleavage, that without question gets more clicks than anything else. And here's the funny thing. You girls are very interesting uh, individuals because what we found, when we first tested this picture, I thought, you know, I, I don't know if I want to do that. It's kind of not cool, you know, and, you know, I've got daughters and, you know, it's just, I don't know, it was just kind of, you know, call me, I'm an old southern gentleman, so it was, it just, it was just kind of a little weird for me. And, uh, and I said, you know, I don't want to offend the ladies, you know, that might see my ad and, you know, I don't know if that's cool or not. Well, what we did is we had it so uh, the ads were going to the men and the women, and we could tell how many ladies clicked on the ad and how many men clicked on the ad. And get this, more ladies clicked on the cleavage pictures than the gentlemen did. So more ladies clicked on this than the gentlemen did. I thought that was very interesting. So again, you want to be careful with something like this. I, I just tell you, for ourselves, we ended up, we, we stopped doing these because, uh, again, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, just, it's just kind of a personal preference thing. But if you do uh, some sort of a cleavage or, or attractive young lady, it will get more clicks by both men and women. And again, keep in mind, Facebook has to approve it. This one is frankly a little bit more risque than, than most, and uh, I'm a little surprised they approved this one. But, uh, but anyway, you get the idea. All right, real quick. So here's a neat thing that you can do too. You go, all right, well, what if, here, let me just show an example. This would be easier. Here we had, and, and I picked on a loan officer here because I didn't want to find a, uh, grab one of the real, real estate agents of our friends that happening on today's call and show something here. So I, I picked on a loan guy. So here's a, a, more, a loan officer. I'm, I'm not sure who this is, to be, be honest with you. I'm sure he's a nice guy. And he, he created a fan page, right? He created a fan page as a loan officer. Well, look what happened. A friend of ours, Scott Swinford, very, very, very clever uh, loan officer that's, that's a member of this community, really smart guy. He had it so that his ad shows up to all fans of this fan page. So if you're a fan of this fan page, you're going to see Scott's ad show up. And so you can hijack other people's fan pages or you can, like if you find a place where home buyers or home sellers, a fan page they're hanging out on, like, oh, let's say, I don't know, I'm, I'm just homes and garden, just say something like that. You can have it so that your fan page or your ad only shows up on fans of homes and garden. Or let's just say, again, like what Scott did, I mean, he literally had it so that his ad showed up on one of his competitors, uh, you know, fan page. So that's absolutely something that you can do. So you can hijack somebody else's fan page. And again, you can fan pages where prospects hang out at or, or competitors' fan pages. I'm going to tell you, you know, I mean, don't, 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 I think it's kind of funny in a way, but, you know, you always want to be kind of cool about some of this stuff too. So, yeah. um, so just kind of. I guess, you know, um, somebody says, isn't it illegal or against the law? It's, and, and depending on where you're putting it, like, for example, like downtown Kalamazoo has 12,000 fans. So if I, if I put an ad that showed up in downtown Kalamazoo because I know there's a lot of traffic going on there, that's not really hijacking. That's just making people aware of who I am and what I do for a living. Yeah, hijacking fan pages is absolutely positively not against the law. No, it's not. There's, no. it, there's, a, uh, there's a, boat, uh, uh, a boat dealer here in my town, and in this boat dealer's, like they're right on the big highway here, Highway 19, gets just got to be half a million people drive down that road every day. And right beside, dead beside that boat dealer's 
dealership, I mean right in his front yard, is a big billboard of a competitor's boat dealer just three miles down the road. And evidently, the, you know, the, the boat dealer down the road somehow got that billboard that's literally sitting in the side yard. Uh, it must be, you know, somebody else owns a billboard, obviously. And, and they have their own billboard in their, in, you know, in their competitors, literally almost their driveway. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's freaky on how it is. And, and, you know, some would maybe say a little uncool, but ab you absolutely positively you can do this. So, um, okay. Let's see. Oh, so where do people, so, hey, so, so that people say, well, gee, once they, once they go to that ad and they click on it, where do they go? Like, where does it go now? It's, well, this is the things that we found that works best is a video telling your why. And, and, in other words, it goes to a video of why somebody should work with you, right? Give them, give them some good tips. A fan page, you can have it go to your fan page. Something else that we see uh, uh, some of the loan professionals uh, uh, providing also or is, is webinar registrations, like to an online home buying seminar. Well, a webinar just like this. Like, you guys come to a webinar, right. you know, you have to put in your name and your email address. Now, we don't market to you guys, of course, because your loan professional is providing this service to you. But, you know, we do have the name and email address of everybody that, that comes and registers for the webinar, as you would of anybody that come to your webinar. And some of these automated webinar systems that are around today, this is just a friend of ours, uh, Ralph Watkins, some of these online webinar uh, things is where the webinar is not really live, it's recorded. And so you do a posting of an online workshop. So instead of going to the local library, say, to do a, a first-time home buyer workshop, you can do it as a webinar. And like 10 secrets to sell your home fast, 25 things you must know before, you, uh, before buying a home. And you click on these things, you're actually watching a recording but everybody thinks that it's live because it starts at a very specific time. And like, you know, a thing pops up here, you know, what topic, and you know, they put in their name and email address, pick out what time they want. And when they register for these webinars, these first time home buyer webinars, you get emailed the, 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 that person's uh, uh, name and email address that they registered for this webinar. So anyway, just kind of a neat little thing. So on the Facebook ads, people say, well, what is the average cost per click? And I can tell you, it depends on your target. Uh, it depends on your click-through ratio. In other words, for every thousand times your ad is seen, how many people click on it? And what Facebook does is the more people click on it, the better your ad is, they actually lower the price. They actually lower the price. So you want to make sure that you have a good headline, a good target, and a good, a good picture because you want as many people clicking on it as possible because your price per click actually goes down. And by the way, the evenings can be cheaper then during the daytime, so you can have so the ad only runs in the evening, uh, because how Facebook ads work is you might say, all right, um, I'll spend twenty dollars today on Facebook ads, and you start your ad. Well, by one o'clock, you might have already spent your twenty dollars, and a lot of people do that. So that when my ads show up in the afternoon, I'm bidding against less people, and if I'm bidding against less people, I'm paying less per click, because they already spent their twenty dollars in the morning. Well, my clicks don't start until the afternoon. So anyway, so evenings can absolutely be cheaper uh, than, uh, than the daytime. And, uh, but just as an FYI, my average click is around a dollar. So every time somebody clicks on one of my ads, it's about a dollar. You know, you know, Carl, one of the questions I get a lot is, uh, well, you're going to bring it up right here, but you know, I still send postcards. How, why, how can this be different? Can I use this instead of sending postcards? Well, you know, and that's a great question. Um, and the stuff that we're showing you today isn't necessarily instead of, it might be in addition to, but, but about the postcards, I mean, I, again, I think, you know, the postcards and mailers, I think they work just fine. Um, but, you know, it's no secret that the post office is, you know, is in trouble, right? And it's because people don't read mail certainly like they used to. And just as an FYI, let's say, you know, that, you bring up a great question, Scotty. Let's say you're sending out, oh, 100 postcards. And... You know, by the time you the postcard, the stamp, somebody licking the envelope and and get, getting the mailing list and all that, w would we agree that it's like a dollar per postcard, give or take? You know, within reason. You know, somewhere in that ballpark. But, uh, yeah, I would say at least a buck a piece because you got. Right. I mean, sometimes you get the cards for labor and yeah, labor yeah. and all that. So give buck or take. Piece, yeah. So just for easy math, buck a piece. Yeah. So if I send out a hundred cards, would we agree that if I send out a hundred cards, getting two responses back would be considered a home run. Absolutely. Right? A 2% conversion rate is, is yep. very good. 
So if I get two, and that's not two deals, that's two people just responding back, two people yep. two. clicking it in essence, right? So it costs you 100 bucks. Yeah. Two people click, but they only click. They they only looked at your postcard. That's it. Yeah. They, or they or, or they responded. They contacted to say right. I'm interested. Or they clicked. Right. In other words. So right. if you do, if you send out a hundred, you get two people you know responding back to you. That's like fifty dollars a click. Right. You're spending fifty dollars for each person to get back to you. We're spending a dollar. And so yeah. if you're doing okay on fifty dollars a click, think about how cool it is to get a dollar a click. So. Yeah. Facebook ads is working for me uh, extremely, 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 extremely well. All right. So secrets to getting cheap clicks, just a couple FYIs. I think we kind of talk. Rotate your ads about once a week. Uh, change your ads. Rotate the picture. Change the pictures out. Rotate your headlines. Uh, nice, bright colors uh, works. You want it to stand out. So you want it to stand out. And, uh, and by the way, Facebook ads sending people to Facebook pages. In other words, when they click on the ad, if you can have them go into a video on your Facebook page, which you can absolutely do that, that's cheaper too. Because Facebook would rather keep them in Facebook too. Because like if you go Facebook ad to your regular home web page, uh, there's no Facebook ads on your home page, so there's no chance for Facebook to make any money. Whereas if you do a Facebook ad to your Facebook page or your Facebook video, that does have Facebook ads on it, so they might click on another ad. So Facebook wants them to stay in Facebook too, so they'll reward you. Facebook ads to Facebook, your Facebook page is certainly cheaper. Here's another little thing we found. This was kind of a ninja trick, and I can't believe Facebook still lets us do this. So as we look up this page right here, everybody, uh, this is a, uh, a what's called a QR code. And how QR codes, for those of you not aware, uh, familiar with this, how a QR code works, if, if I pick up my smartphone right now and take a picture of this little QR code thingy right here. That QR code <laughs> sends my phone to bring up a, 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 like a, a video. Wherever you want them to go. Where do you want them to go? Like your video, yeah. your homepage, your wherever, using Facebook their smartphone. Page, everywhere, yeah. yeah. You, and the crazy your... thing is, I mean, and the crazy thing is, Carl, they actually, people will, and we've, we, I mean, we're doing some current testing on this right now, we put QR codes, no, but not only that, we put the text code inside some of our descriptions of the Facebook ads or the Facebook pages, yes. and they'll, instead of clicking on the link, they'll actually pull out their phone, either scan or text when they could easily just click on the link and see the exact same thing. Funny you say that, Scotty, because that's exactly what happened here, is we put this QR code picture, which, if I remember right, went to, went to a video telling why uh, you should work with this company, and when you clicked on, or when you, when you scanned this, if you scanned it with your smartphone, you went to landing page A, right? If you clicked on the ad, or I, I got it backwards here, but you got the idea. If you clicked yeah. on the ad, then it would go to landing page B. And we could count how many people went to landing page A. In other words, how many people clicked on the ad versus how many people scanned the ad with a QR code. And we found that for every one click, we got three scans. In other words, Instead of just picking up their mouse and just clicking on the button right here, they would go through the trouble picking up their smartphone and, and scan the QR code. And so for every, for every uh, one click, we got three scans. Now, if you take a picture of this, Facebook can't charge you because you didn't click on it. They can't tell how many people took a picture of that thing. So in other words, you're in essence getting free clicks, so to speak. Every person that scanned this thing they're still going to your landing page, they're still going to your fan page, they're still going to your video on their smartphone, but since they didn't click the button, it didn't cost anything. So for every one click, right here, for every one click, we got four total views, which equals 25 cents per click. Again, I don't know how much longer they're going to let us put these QR code pictures on there. But right, anyway, I was just, blown away when they did that. Just, a, just an interesting idea. All right, let's finish finishing up here. I know we're getting close to the top of the hour here. Interacting and, and following up. This is a biggie, guys, and I hate to keep going to this video marketing, but video marketing is a big deal. There's a famous study that was done. If I remember, I know it, it's, you can see here it's talking about the, the, the British pound. So this was somewhere in, in Europe, somewhere in England, where they had seven different people. So it wasn't just this one guy, but it had seven different people standing out holding this sign. And the sign says, if you ask me for a five-pound note or a five-dollar bill, you can have one. So here this guy had the best offer ever, which was free money, right? There's no, no better offer that I can think of. And look at this. 
out of 1,800 people that passed by, only 28 took the offer, less than 2%. And I thought, well, geez, I, I can tell you right now why that is, is they didn't trust him. They didn't know him. They didn't know who he was. So even though he has a killer offer of, of, of free money, people didn't approach him because they didn't know who he was, even though he had a great offer. So let's say if we put, oh, let's say Jay Leno out there holding this sign, you think more than 2% of the people would approach him. Well, of, of course they would, right? Because they, they, they know who he is. They, they trust him. They recognize him. And so the point being is it's not about uh, you rebating back somebody or discounting your, your, uh, your, your commission to get a deal. It's not about the offer. It's about who's making the offer, who's making the offer. And so, it's, again, it's real important that in your Facebook marketing, you let people get to know you. I strongly recommend you do the videos. Make sure you have a good About Me button on your website. Let people get to know you. It's not about the offer. It's who's making the offer. And again, we gave the example of John Wayne. You know that when you think of John Wayne, you get this image of the all-American man, a man's man, truth, honor, you know, and American flag. And odds are, none of us on today's call ever met this gentleman. But yet, we feel like we knew him because of the videos and or the movies that he did. You now have that same exact uh, power. So, you go, all right. Now that they contact me, what do you say with them after they contact with you? Again, what is your why? Uh, why would referral partners want to work with you? What do you bring to the table? What problems do they have that you can now solve? Right. So these are the four things that you want to approach. Is what do you? How are you going to benefit them? What if, if I list with you? What benefit is that going to give me? If I buy a home with you, what benefit is that going to give me? You have to let them know these things. Right. You have to help them solve their problems. Which, by the way, those tips that we showed in the ezinearticles.com and on the books on Amazon is a big, uh, big way of doing this also. So you go, okay, I've got all these fans now. I've got my fan page. I get that. I've ran the ads. I've built up my fan base. I've, I've targeted the right people. How do I convert these fans to closing? Again, we find by doing webinars and teleseminars and office meetings and schedule face-to-face -face and post no-brainer offers on your fan page. Update the values uh, on the neighborhoods. In other words, just value, 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 build a relationship. right? Just build a relationship. And again, the loan professional that invited you here has a lot of these tools that they can help you with this. So schedule a meeting with the, the loan professional brought you here and, and write this little list down and just mastermind together, think together about different things that they have, different tools and, and, and processes they have to help you with these things because it's critical. It's one thing to have a whole bunch of fans. It's another thing to convert it into closings, and that's what we're talking about here today. So, so what I'm getting from this, Carl, so really what it boils down to is in the olden days, the only way to get to know people is to either call them on the phone, stop by their house, door knock, whatever it is. But now we have this social media that we can actually connect with people, engage with people, interact with people. And if we're giving them free, cool stuff, then it's starting the relationship that way instead of having to go knock on their door, pick up the phone and call them. And then once we get to, once they interact and engage with us, we can go back and start that relationship, the long-term relationship, because one relationship could be 250 because each person has so many friends. I mean, so this is just, this is a, such a much easier way to get to know people. And like you keep saying, doing video, letting people get to know you, hear you, and, and kind of feel your passion for whatever it is you decide to do videos on is such a huge thing to do. So, I mean, it's that, I mean, every time I see this, I'm like, okay, I get it because this is the new way of building relationships. Absolutely. Being All right, well, I, I know we're at the top of the hour here. I'm going to show yep. you three slides here in just a second that's just going to rock your world. I'm going to show you something that's so freaky that it's just crazy here. But just real quick, uh, link the, uh, you want to now put the link to your fan page in all of your advertising. So in other words, if you're already running a newspaper ad, put a link to your fan page in there. Newsletter, magazine, postcards, e-books, TV, radio, internet TV, billboards, poster, business card, anywhere you have anything, just put a link to your fan page. It doesn't cost anything. It's just one more line of ink. So if you've already got it there, talk to people how they want to be talked to. And right now, I'm telling you, they want to be talked to via this social marketing. All right. And you go, all right, Carl, I, I, I get all this. Gosh, there seems to be a lot of stuff here. Is all this stuff worth it? Again, as we look here, guys, I'm just a schmuck down here in the middle of Florida, and i got 169,000 views in this period of time right here. I mean, that's just crazy. And, and again, what does a Facebook fan page cost? It doesn't cost. Days. It doesn't cost anything, right? It doesn't cost anything. And again, you know, here's another one. This was a, a more recent shot here. 
So we, again, 68,000, that's a stadium full of people on that, that when, I, when, I mark, when I mark it out to my groups, 68,000, my God, if we were to send a postcard, it costs $68,000, right? Just crazy on how this stuff. All right, here's three slides. This is something I, I made you a promise at the beginning of the call. I promised you that I was going to show you something that five minutes after the call would give you an endless source of leads, and here it is, guys. This is so clever, and uh, a good friend of ours, Josh Shomi, is the one that shared this with me, by the way, so just make sure we give uh, Josh credit there. So here's what you do. In Facebook, you have a little search bar up here, and you'll notice when you search something, this little thing pops up, and it says, when you do a search, do you want to search people, places, pages, group? You want to search public post. Everybody see this? Public post right here, public post. And so put, it has to go in quotation marks. So quotation marks, moving to Tampa. When I hit enter now into this, it's going to search for anybody that has any public post. So it's not just my friends, not just my family, not just in my area. Anybody anywhere on Facebook that says these literal quotes in their posting, moving to Tampa. And look here. My son Josh will be moving to Tampa. Uh, here's Angela. I'm extremely excited to be moving to Tampa. Uh, I was looking at houses and it's likely we'll have a pool again. Yes. Uh, moving to Tampa. Uh, second week of September, I told you I'm, I'm spontaneous. Gosh, don't we all like spontaneous buyers, right? That's who we're looking for. And so this shows you, and I don't even know who these people are. We're not friends. We're not connected. We're not on fan pages. We're not on anything. They just published exactly, so you can have moving to Kalamazoo, moving to, so this is a source of leads that you get where you can contact these people say, hey, Angela, heard that you uh, saw on Facebook that you're moving to Tampa. Uh, uh, gee, I've got this great report that you got off of easingarticles.com on the seven things you must know before you buy your next pool home. Uh, would, would you like a copy of that? Right? Start having a communication with this lady. But as we were looking at this, we went, well, wait a minute, moving to Tampa, gosh, what would happen if we made that a little bit bigger? and did moving to Florida, right? Moving to Florida, because now I'm not just getting the people in Tampa. I'm getting them moving to Florida. So if I'm a real estate agent, I'm here in Tampa, and I find somebody's moving to, say, Jacksonville, I'll just refer the lead out in Jacksonville, make my 25% or whatever, whatever percentage that you agree upon. You could spend all day doing nothing but these searches, connecting up with these people, and refer 100% of the business out, and make a fortune in your, in your pajamas at the kitchen table, so to speak. Moving to Florida, moving to Florida, moving to Florida, moving to Florida, moving to Florida. And then it hit me. I thought, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got that <laughs> limiting thought again. Remember we talked about um, the bigger cup? Remember we talked about the bigger cup at the very beginning of the call? How about just the words, we are moving, right? We are moving. <laughs> now, I want you to take a good look at this because this freaked me out. This freaked me out. And again, we have to be searching in quotations and in public post here. So when I, when I type this in, it says, a few seconds ago, this person po posted, we're moving. About a minute ago, this person, we're moving. About four minutes ago, we're moving. In other words, every couple of minutes of the day around the United States, somebody is typing in, we're moving. What if I try to develop a relationship, bring something of value, results in advance, telling my why, how I can hook them up with a great agent in their area and just refer out make a fortune doing nothing but referrals for refer, referring other, uh, other agents and getting my commission. Uh, how, this stuff, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's yeah. so easy to help so many people, and yeah. this is just a very, very, very clever way to do it. So I absolutely love the, uh, the, the moving idea. So, um, so right. Carl, um, you know, the story that I like is, there, I mean, and this is how powerful this is, and you told this story when I was with you last time. You know of a guy, I think, in Texas, I can't remember where he's from, but That's he right. literally works out of his home and yeah. refers out leads from doing what you just showed all over the country. That's all he, he does. Doesn't, he's never, he's never listed. I, I shouldn't say never. I've never known him to list a house. I've never known him to show a house. Fire. And uh, so to my knowledge, this is the only way that, uh, that he's ever done it. And I'm yeah. telling you, when you start doing this stuff, guys, it is like drinking water from a fire. There's so many leads and so many sources your biggest issue is going to be, uh, you know, how do you manage all the leads? Because it's really that big of a deal. So it's very, very, very clever. And the good news is you're going to be the only ones that know how to do it right, right? Everybody's screwing up. Everybody's going on there. 
the negative comments and gimme, 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 you're the ones that's going to be learning how to do it right. I saw this that 72% of real estate agents have been doing social marketing for less than four months because they quit because they think there's no money here. In, in essence, they're out there, they're just doing it wrong. They're, they're like, they're, 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 they're trying to dig a hole, but they're using a spoon instead of, a, instead of an oil drill, you know, and it just doesn't make any sense. And, and again, you know, I just want to kind of close with this little statement here of the power of masterminding. We really appreciate you guys being on today's call. And, you know, somebody shared this with me one day, and this made so much sense, is the power of masterminding. See, like if, if we meet in person, and if I give you a dollar and you give me a dollar, we each now have one dollar, right? We really don't have any more than what we left. However, if I give you an idea and you give me an idea, we each now have two ideas. The power of masterminding and joining Scotty and your, your, uh, your loan professional that brought you here today and joining them with here on these mastermind groups. Guys, this is such powerful and critical stuff. This is what the top 2% do. The other 98% are, are, are out playing Farmville on Facebook. But you guys spend the time, the energy, and the effort uh, thanks to the loan professional that brought you here to learn more stuff. And I just want to say my hat's off to you for spending the time with us today. And, and, and just during this last hour uh, today, you've learned how to do the Facebook fan page strategy. We showed you how to do the Facebook ad strategy. What we didn't have time for was video marketing and video editing and how to get great assistance. We have a class on that. How to create a character. How to dominate YouTube. We have a class on that. Advanced LinkedIn strategies. I like LinkedIn a lot. Overcoming the fear of making meetings and presentations winning listing presentations. These are all classes that either in the that we've done in the past or coming up in the near future. And again, if you want to get a copy of all these classes, again, nothing's ever sold. If you want to get a copy of the past classes that we've done, some of the stuff that you've missed out on, make sure to contact the loan professional that brought you here and they can give you a link to uh, a couple months past of, of the classes and make sure that you didn't miss out on something that you should have uh, that you should have caught today. And uh, by the way, this is how you can tell you're at, uh, at the uh, Board of Realtors office in Texas. No, I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> All the guys in Texas. I see, I see our friend Pat Fitzgerald and his friends are on today's call, so I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, anyway. this, is, this is actually taken from my high school. So uh, <laughs> A anyway. good buddy of ours, Ron, on the call, he, he, says, uh, he says, I just saw a Facebook post about my ex-wife moving to California. <laughs> so should I call on that one? <laughs> I would, I would, I would farm that lead out, my friend. Yeah, farm, so, uh, farm that lead out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, uh, so I, anyway, uh, so that's Carl, it. man, I, uh, I, I appreciate you coming on today, man. I really do. And um, every time I hear this, I just, uh, I tell you, you got to really open your mind and think about this because it's so, it's like beyond powerful. There is just so much going on right now on Facebook, and there's so many conversations and so many people. Literally, I, I read this post, and it says Facebook is like. People are putting on Facebook in almost as, as close to what their life is exactly. So, like, everything they do, everywhere they go, everything they're doing is almost like the timeline is now what their life is. So you can really find – you can meet people. You can interact with people. You can get to know them with their likes and dislikes and stuff like that. I mean, it's amazing the power behind this. And then the Facebook ads to target those people. Like, like when you brought up the NASCAR thing, I mean, like – who I mean, NASCAR fans are like family. I mean, you go to you go to a NASCAR race. I mean, Carl, you're a big NASCAR guy. Yeah. I mean, who, when you go to something like that, it's like it's like being around family, is it not? I mean, it's crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. So if you are whatever you are, and I and I always share this, whatever you are, whatever you like, market that. I mean, I love this story about the guy that took a deal from you, Carl. That that was a dentist. He goes, Oh, I have a dentist loan. And you're like, like a dentist loan. Oh yeah, and I also have a, a new car guy loan, and I also have a doctor loan, and I also have a, 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 um, a CPA loan. And so it's like he was a specialist focusing on doctors. Yeah. So Carl lost the deal too. Remember that? I mean, that was I, I do. hilarious because because he do. said it. But you know what? It's all about guys. It's it's all about good marketing. We look. We know that we know that you guys on the call are already you know good real estate agents because you're the ones that invest in your time and your energy by coming to these classes and learning. So that's a given. We already know that you get great service. The question is, how do you let people know right. that you're that agent that really does care? You're that you're that two percent that comes and learns and, and, and works to, to make things better for you and for you know for your clients. But how do you let people know that? And and that's where this masterminding is so critical. So you know my call to action this week is contact uh, the loan professional sent you here, meet up with them this week and review this uh, we're, we're going to send this PowerPoint out to them 
and, and review over some of this information, and you guys meet with them and mastermind together, what can we do to implement some of this stuff? Let's set up a, a fan page maybe that you could do together, or, 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 or get a copy of some of the video marketing uh, classes we've done in the past, and, and get with these people, get with like-minded people like you, and get the synergy of the group. I'm telling you, there's no more powerful thing you can do. In fact, like, like Scotty, we got what there's like five of us all. We, we don't just we don't we're we're coming from all over the country, flying all in at one location and hanging out for two days and masterminding. That's what the top people do, and that's what yeah. we want to make sure that you're doing with the loan professional. I brought you here called they think like you do. They think like Absolutely. you do. They they invest in their business and they know that training is so critical. So uh, yeah. So if you're here, I'm gonna just steal the the screen real quick, Carl, if you don't mind. Absolutely. And if you are here for the first time. Um, just you know, we have a private group just for people that are on the call today. And if you go to Agent Master, excuse me, Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind, there's close to 600 people there. If you have a question, that is a fantastic place to go. And here's yeah. the cool part about this group: when you ask a question there, it does not get pushed out to your friends, family, your other your business. So nobody's going to see that you're trying to learn. It's private, so it stays in the group. Only the people in the group see it. And we only let people that are personally invited from our loan officers that sent you sent you an invite to the class. So those are the people that are invited to the to the group. So it's a really powerful group, amazing. It's growing all the time. A lot of great interaction, engagement. There's some Facebook fan pages on there. You can get some ideas. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind and Carl. So Scotty, I, uh, just just, yeah. just real quick before we close. Yeah. Can I can I go on that page and? And ask for you to teach classes on different topics. Like if I got a topic Absolutely. that I want, I want you Absolutely. to teach a class on. It. So we so we can go on there and say, hey, I would like to learn more about X. And, and you yes. guys, either yourselves or you find a top professional to come on and help teach. That's very that's a that's a cool site. Exactly right, man. Yep. So it's uh, it's growing all the time. Great stuff on there. We post all the new, you know, all our all of our members from uh, whatever they learn. They're posting on there. Whatever, like the Pinterest boards. I mean, we had a great Pinterest training. People ask questions about that. Um, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever it is. I mean, like, like for example, there's a lot of questions coming in. Hey, I can't get this thing to show up where it says, um, it says, you know, on Facebook, where is? Let me just show you really quick. Well, I got the screen. Here's, I'm live. So it says, I am moving. So I think that's what you said, right, Carl? I am moving. Yeah. Put it in quotes, though. Has been. Oh yeah, yeah. Quotes. So you put it in quotes. I am moving, and then quotes, and then what happens is when you when you hit that, this thing is. Whoops. Let me try this again. I am moving. Quotes. When you hit that, uh, I try this again, and it is not going over to where I wanted it to go without the quotes that actually went there. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So when you do that over here, on um, when you put in without the quotes, it says over here public post. That's where you want to click on, and then you'll see you'll you can do your search from there. All right. But it yeah, but it, it it will it will if you put in quote you, you have to put in, in quotes to. I am moving public quotes and then just hit the search right. That's right. Okay. And then um, you'll you'll find that I am moving. Here's one right here that happened nine minutes ago. Uh, here's letter of resignation. Oh boy, <laughs> that was nine minutes ago. I am moving. This and then is, and, uh, as an FYI, you can also put, you can also put we are moving. I we are moving. moving. So we are moving. 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, 18 minutes ago, 22 Endless. minutes ago. Endless. I mean, every every couple minutes. Here's endless. John. I mean, it, it's just it's endless. Tons endless. and tons and tons of leads. So, but um, maybe search first and then and then click on public post because if it doesn't take you there, click on it and then put the parentheses around what you want to search for. Cool. All right. My brother. Hey, brother. Thanks so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. I know it's important, and uh, I appreciate. You guys for joining us today. Uh, get with your loan professional to get a copy of the recording and a copy of the PowerPoint if you wish. And uh, next week we're going to continue with Paul Baxter and we're going to do a class on blogging. We're going to do an advanced, advanced class on blogging on how to get to your stuff to the first page of Google. So don't miss that. And again, go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. And we look forward to seeing you guys on the web. Thanks so much, brother. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.